Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey babe, hey, welcome to today's video. So I'm bringing you guys an Amazon favorites. I show so many of these products in my TikTok, even on here, and I get so many questions. So I'm like, you know what? Most of it is from Amazon. Let me just put a video together and bring it to you guys so that you know exactly where to come to find it whenever you have questions. Because um, when I tell you, majority of literally almost everything that I'm about to show you is always asked about, especially over on TikTok. So here's a video with everything you guys want to know about. Um, everything will be linked down below, of course. But before we get into today's video, I do want to give a big shout out to Dossier. Thank you so much again for working with me for yet another video. I love you guys so much. So I do have two fragrances to show you guys, the ones that I've been wearing the most. Um, okay, so you guys, this batch is so good. And you'll see in another video why. But for today, I have Gourmand White Flowers and I have Oriental Cherry. So White Flowers is inspired by Flower Bomb and then Oriental Cherry is inspired by what? Can you just guess what this is inspired by? This is inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So we have some bangers here. We all know that Flower Bomb is just like everyone's favorite. Um, so Gourmand White Flowers has notes of bergamot, green tea, fresca, berries. The middle notes are white flower, orchid, and rose. And then the base notes are musk, patchouli, caramel, and vanilla. So this is what I'm actually wearing today. No, I'm wearing Oriental Cherry today. Um, this one smells... So honestly, you guys, this smells exactly like a flower bomb. It also kind of smells like um, YSL... I don't know why I'm blinking because I literally have this fragrance. YSL... Um, why am I blinking? Um, what is it? What? Let me... Please hold. Let me look it up. So I found it. I don't know how I just blanked on that. But this also smells like YSL Black Opium. Which now I'm curious. Does Flower Bomb and YSL Black Opium smell similar? I've smelled Flower Bomb so many times. I don't have it. But I know how it smells. And it smells like this. But this also smells like Black Opium. And I have Black Opium. So now I'm like... Are they similar? So I don't know, but now I have to test that out because now I'm very, very interested because if that's the case, then you should definitely just get this because then honestly, you would have like a two in one fragrance because I kid you not, this is definitely giving me black opium. And then at the same time, it's giving me a flower bomb. Is that weird? I hope I'm explaining that okay. Like, I don't know, but I'm gonna test that out because now I'm very, very, very interested. And then Oriental Cherry. Okay, so honestly, to me, this does not smell exactly like Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And I'll tell you why. Um, I personally do not like Lost Cherry. Like for me, when I smell it, especially on my skin, it just reminds me of like children's cough syrup, like cherry cough syrup that we used to, you know, take when we were sick when we were younger. And I just don't like that. Like, I hate it. I don't know why my mom would always get the cherry flavor. Mom, why did you do that? Because first of all, that, it was so disgusting. But I think I just have like a bad memory of just hating the <laughs> cough syrup. So that's what Lost Cherry reminds me of. So obviously, like, I don't like that. However, this Oriental Cherry... I don't get that. I don't get the cough syrupy like sensation that I get with Lost Cherry. So I actually prefer this one over like the, you know, the incense that it's inspired by, which is so weird to me. Like it's like they created the inspired scent, but I actually like this so much better. Like I I don't know what it is, but to me this just smells like a sweeter, like a juicy cherry like it doesn't give me anything like cough syrupy or just like kind of artificial if that makes sense so i just like wow this is actually crazy that i prefer the inspired scent which is way more affordable like that's crazy to me but i don't know that's just me i girl 
that's just me and I'm like so here for it because nobody got time to be spending time for it money, okay? And most importantly, I do wanna just tell you guys that Dossier is having a huge sale on the website right now. So they have multiple sets um, with a whole bunch of discounted prices. So let's get into it. Their bestseller set, which is originally priced at 127. However, right now it's priced at or discounted at $100 and like 78 cents. Then they have their winter essential set, which is originally priced at $137 now is discounted at $108 and I believe like 65 cents and then they also have this thing called their perfect match set which I think is so special because it's literally um, a candle because I told you guys they do have candles on the website so you get the candle and then the matching perfume and the price is well the original price is $136 however right now it's discounted at $102 so um, they also have a couple set which I'm going to look into for Isaiah and I because I think that's so cute um, but make sure you go ahead and shop Dossier for the holiday season like I always say like a fragrance is just such a, a sweet and personal thing that you can give to someone you know whenever they end up using it they'll always think about you since you gifted it to them so make sure you go ahead check out their sale um i do have a code you know that i'll have it somewhere on the screen or link down below um thank you again to dossier for working with me for this video and let's go ahead and jump into this amazon favorites okay starting off we're going to start with kitchenware like glassware kitchen items things like that so of course, I have to start off with the beer can glass. I get the most questions on this glass. Um, I featured this glass in like videos from last year, earlier this year, all over TikTok. Um, it's the beer can glass. Um, literally, you just type in beer can glass and it'll bring up so many different brands. But I'll link the one specifically that I have. Um, this is a 16 ounce glass but i also do have the 20 ounce so you can kind of see the size difference um i don't really use these as much if i'm being completely honest i didn't really want these um isaiah uses these for juice and you guys know i use this for smoothies and for um my chai lattes but i figured i would just still get him the bigger variety as well so that if he wanted more juice or something like that he could just use the bigger ones because he he loves these like he really really loves these and i do too um so i just you know we have to keep them in the house now um so this is 20 ounce like i said and then this is the 16 one i usually use this the most and then going with this i have glass straws so i get so many questions about where my straws are from girl they're from amazon so the pack that i bought comes with three different sizes mine aren't the cleanest which i don't know how because i usually do use the little pipe cleaner that it comes with but as you can see i just have three different sizes so we have a super long one and then like a medium one and then the smaller one so depending on the glass will depend which one i use so you can see like this isn't too bad but honestly it's not like ideal so then i would probably go in with the medium one and you know that's just perfect it's so pretty it's so aesthetic like we all know and love this at this point um and yeah so i'm just putting it on i do like the variety pack like the different sizes because like i said different glasses need different lengths however the pack that i got they have like these weird quotes on them quotes statements phrases on them you can't really tell and i usually just put it inside my drink so that you definitely can't see it um but in this one I don't even know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up. It does have like a quote right here and it just says, um, do you guys not have glass straws? So they're just like weird, quirky statements. Um, this one says, you're going to love this. Trust me. And then the smaller one says, shut up and drink. So really weird, really random. Um, I don't really pay attention to them. I just literally just put it inside and hide it that way. But this was like the only straw pack that I found that had like a variety of sizes. So absolutely love these. Um, obviously link down below, let's move on. The next set of glassware that I have, these are just so popular right now, especially this little one for iced coffee. So this is just like a rigid ribbed glass. Like I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just the glass that has all the ridges around it. And it's like the, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I don't know, but you, you guys, I know you've seen this everywhere. Um, this came as a set. So this is the larger one and it came like this. 
um, stacked on each other. So I usually do store them just like this or I'll just store it like this. It kind of just depends on my mood and then I'll put it away in my cabinet. But these are just very pretty, very aesthetic. So if you're into aesthetics and you know, just having fun with your iced coffees, definitely recommend these. Um, these sell out so quickly you guys so i'm hoping when i link it down below it's available because i know these are very very popular right now and you know they're from amazon mind you these are very very heavy so i'm assuming it's like very thick glass like it's very it's good quality and i believe this was around 27 dollars for the set so yeah from amazon absolutely love it next my wine glasses so again i get so many questions on this specifically this one since it's like square um i feel like these are everywhere they've been everywhere for like the past year and a half two years and um they're just so pretty i think it just really took us by surprise that it was just like a different take a different look on a wine glass um i believe is it cb2 or crate and barrel um one of the CVs, CV1, CV2, um, I believe has this and it's a little bit more expensive, I believe, and it's kind of rounded at the bottom a little bit. So I think Amazon just duped them and you know came out with a pack. I have a set of four and I knew I do know they have champagne glasses as well, which I will be picking up, especially for New Year's. So I have to actually add that to my cart now. But obviously these are just so aesthetic. They're so pretty, they're so dainty. Um, I use mine for water, for wine, for hot chocolate, for iced coffee, for kombucha. It doesn't matter. I just use mine like it's a regular cup because I just love it so much. And it's just so pretty. And I, you just, you can't not feel luxe when you just have this filled with something and you're just sitting on your couch and you're watching your little movie or your little show and you just have this in your hand and you're drinking from it. So definitely pick these up. This is like my all time favorite. Um, so highly recommend. <laughs> Next is my air fryer. Um, I just had to mention this. I'm not gonna hold it the whole time because it is actually heavy. Um, but the brand is Dreo. I actually just saw this on my homepage um, maybe two and a half months ago and it was on sale at the time and I definitely needed a new one. So I was like, this is kind of nice. It's nice and sleek. I love that it's just all rounded. It kind of looks like a, um, I don't know, like a bullet. Like, I don't know. It just, I love the shape of it. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I really like it. And then it's the, my favorite thing about it is that it's silent. And then the drawer just comes out so easily. Of course, now that I'm holding it, it doesn't want to come out, but it just, it's just perfect. Like, let me put it down actually and then tell you guys. All right, now that I'm not holding it, I can actually talk about it. Um, My favorite thing about it is that it's just so silent. Like, I'll have it on and I will literally forget that I'm making food because I don't hear it. It's compared to my old one, um, that one wasn't too loud, but this one is just like, obviously you can hear the little, you know, the fan working inside, but it's just, it's super, super quiet. Um, my old one my sister did gift to me for Christmas last year and I loved it so much I used it all the time to the point where I ended up breaking it the drawer ended up not closing all the way So my food wouldn't cook properly <laughs> So I definitely needed a new one. So when I saw that on the home page I was just like give it to me and I like it. It's touchscreen. It's digital and it's just like it's an affordable nice air fryer Okay, let's move into like random beauty-ish products so first things first are my beauty sponges so i got so many questions on um, about these on my tiktok and i believe a couple of people asked in my comments on my video um so these are from amazon and i don't know what i searched i think i just searched like nude beauty blenders and they came up and that's exactly what they are they're not beauty blender the brand but you know they're makeup sponges and they're just so pretty um I really wanted this shade because I knew they were going to match my um, brushes that I have in my drawers. So I just wanted everything to look completely clean, very aesthetic, very um, put together. So these came in a pack of six, I believe, either six or seven. And they're super soft. They get really big when they get wet and I love them. Next are my little eyebrow razors, facial razors. Um, I use these to get rid of my peach fuzz, my, my mustache, my little chin hairs and to touch up around my eyebrows. So I did show these in my previous video, but they just expand open and they lock in place so that you can just go ahead and um, get rid of any hair you don't want. And again, I was going for this nudie, beigey, creamy color. 
so I picked this up. I believe it was 10 of the nude ones, 10 of like the pinky shade, and then 10 of this really pretty blue shade. Um, so this is exactly what they look like, and they just fold up, and you can put them in your bag, you can put them in your car. I do, I put them in my bag, my car, they're in my bathroom, they're in my uh, desk, they're everywhere. And I love that they're just very like discreet, and also, you know, you're not cutting yourself because it's like, you know what I mean? Like they just fold up and it's just safe, it's good to go, so love these you can obviously see what i was going for definitely will be repurchasing those when i run out of them because i just i love them so much also i only use mine about four times i know it is plastic so obviously it's not the best so i do try to get as many uses out of each one of them as i can while still being sanitary so just a little fyi but love those so next is my little facial scrubber so i get so many questions about this little thing and this was the cheapest little thing on Amazon. It came in a pack of two. So I have the white one and I have a dark gray one. The white one stays upstairs in my bathroom and then my gray one is downstairs in our shared bathroom. Um, but it's just, I love it so much. It's so small. It's nice and like um, flexible. It doesn't hurt your face. It's not too hard of a, you know, a bristle. Like it's literally silicone and I just love them. It's the perfect size to just get in there and get, you know, whatever dirt, oil, makeup off my face and love it. Okay, so next I'm gonna go into my little storage containers that I showed you guys in my Sunday reset video. Um, I got a lot of questions about these on TikTok and it just comes in a pack of 16, I believe. They have different varieties. You can get a pack of 24, I think a 36 pack and um, I'm gonna go ahead and order some more because like I said in that video, that Sunday reset video, I want them now for my bathroom. So they come with different sizes. I just have this little square one right here to show you and then this little rectangular one. So I love these so much. These definitely saved my drawer. If you saw that video, y'all saw my drawer was a mess. These saved it and they were so affordable. Can't go wrong. Okay, so now I wanna go into tech. because I have a few things to show you guys. First thing is this lighter. So this is an electric lighter. Um, it's flexible, it's bendable. You can obviously bend it to fit whatever candle you're trying to light. So for this, what you do is you turn it on. It has an on and off switch. And so you push it up for on and then you just press the little power button and you just light your candle. Like I said, it is electric, so all you have to do is just plug it in and charge it every now and then. I will say it lasts a long time without having to be recharged. And I love it. It's just a simple yet very convenient, very useful, very handy. Like once you have it, you can't go back to the original type of item. So, so many questions on it. They have so many different varieties on Amazon. So, had to mention this for sure. Next is my little sunset lamp. So, I just, I'm really, really obsessed with this thing. Like, I feel like this is the new height, this is the new rave. So it is adjustable, it can bend backwards or forwards. And mine only can go on like the sunset setting. They do have one that you can have like a pink ambiance, a blue ambiance, the sunset ambiance, whatever you want. But I just really wanted the, um, like the sunset aspect of it because I do have lights around my house that I can change the colors of. So I wasn't really into like, getting something else that could do that as well. Um, so I will insert the video obviously for you to see because you can't see anything with me holding it, but this is so nice. Like if you're into just like um, vibey lights, aesthetic -y lights, um, just setting the mood, definitely pick this up. I believe it was like $19 and it doesn't come with like the little brick. So what you do is just, you know, if you have an extra brick, you attach it and you plug it in and then you just press the button to turn it on and you set the mood like i love this so much next is my bedside lamp so i did a video on this on tiktok and got so many questions on it um i will link it down below obviously but this is just so pretty it's really the gray and the cream for me this obviously matches um in my office it matches my bedroom as well and it is a bedside lamp however um, I just prefer to have it on my desk because I feel like I get the most use out of it. Mine just died because I <laughs> use it so freaking much. Um, so it is rechargeable. You just plug it into the little charging port. And not only is it a lamp, but it charges your phone and it's also a speaker. So it has the feature for you to play whatever music you want to play, turn it up, turn it down. So it's all around just like a three in one, but yet it's very aesthetic. So you charge your phone, you have a lamp and you have a Bluetooth speaker 
all in one and it's just it's so nice it's, it's just so pretty on my desk like i just i love this so much so had to mention it and it is um like you carry it around type of thing like you don't have to just have it stationary at your bedside on your nightstand or on your desk you can bring it with you like you saw my video i brought it with me and i had it in my kitchen while i was cooking and stuff like that so it's just it's just so nice and i just where has it been like girl i needed you next i want to show you guys my brush because i did get quite a few questions on this this i think i just typed in like detangling brush for black hair like literally i just want to type in amazon and this came up so what it is it's just like a paddle brush but it's completely like open and transparent like there's no back to the paddle if that makes sense this isn't my favorite because it does like tend to move around it doesn't like clip on to what it's supposed to all the time so it does come loose and so when i'm brushing and combing my hair it's kind of annoying um so i don't know i might have to order another one but for now i'm just using this because i'm honestly lazy to order another one but however i do really like it i like that it doesn't have like the like the foamy part in the back it's just like easy to clean and i feel like it doesn't pull my hair out that's probably my favorite thing about it and overall it does detangle my hair it's just the annoying aspect of it you know coming loose and then not staying in place but i will also link other ones down below as well um because honestly this for me is probably like a 7 out of 10 because of that aspect it does get the job done however sometimes it's just very very annoying so i'll link some other options down below as well okay so let's get into the tea um i get so many questions on what i use to film my videos i film my tiktok videos on my phone and i use these tripods i do have another tripod however my camera is on it so i'll just insert a picture of that one but this is one that i use probably the most i use this when i'm cooking or whenever i'm like shooting bathroom content because it extends and you know it's a pretty decent length and then i can retract it and shorten it if i want to and then it's silver so it just looks really pretty on my desk alongside um my lamp so this is probably the one i get i don't want to say the most out of because i use them all equally but this one is probably the one that is more versatile if that makes sense this one i showed you guys when I was in Sarasota and this is the one that I take with me when I'm on the go. So since it does fold up, it's so easy for me to just put it in my bag. And let's say Isaiah and I are going out to eat, I can pull it out and then record you know, at the table or if I'm in Target and I wanna just record myself shopping, I can do that. I just open it up, put my phone on and then I'll just record myself. So this one is so good because of that feature, because it's so small, I can just fold up and fit into any bag. You know my little baby Louis bag, it fits into that. And so if it fits into that, it can fit in anything. And it's so convenient. This is also the one I use the most when I'm in my bathroom, um, while I'm in the shower and I'm filming like my um, soaps and stuff like that. This is what I'm using. And so this one, like if you have to get one, get this one for sure okay this one is the one i use when i'm cooking only when i'm cooking this one can be a little bit annoying just because it can get um like it can loosen up real easily um but what i use this for like i said is for cooking because i can bend the neck and have it just overlooking the um like the pot or pan that i'm using to cook with or if i'm cutting up vegetables or whatever it can just be like hovering over my hand and getting the the footage that way so I love this but um the only thing is like i said it just gets loose really easily close this up and then i just honestly store it in my in one of my cabinets so that when i am cooking and i want to film i can just easily pull it out and then like you saw the neck is very adjustable it's bendable and you can use it for any position that you want to show okay so now we're gonna move into like bathroom like just stuff that you would find in my bathroom so the first thing is just my bath tray so I'll just show a picture because this is so heavy. I'll show a video for you guys because it's honestly so heavy. I wanted like a black one to just kind of tie into my little bathroom scheme, like color scheme. Um, they do have bamboo ones, which are really nice as well. Um, like I said, I really wanted a black one. So when I found that, I was like, 
perfect. It has a little option for if you use a bar of soap, you can just rest it on it. It has a little um, placement for like your iPad or your book so that it holds it up for you. It has a little slot for your wine glass. So you just go ahead and just slide your wine glass right on into it and it's nice and secure. And it is expandable so it can expand or retract depending on your bath size so or your bath size, your tub size. So um, I just honestly love it. It was around $32, which kind of seems on the higher end, but honestly, the quality is great and I get so much use out of it. So I do not regret it at all. Okay, so next is my little bubble candle. So these are all over Pinterest, all over, probably just everywhere to be honest. These are like the it candle right now. Um, I knew I wanted them for the longest, but I was kind of just waiting for our new place. So once we got here, I was looking on Etsy and honestly, the shipping was taking, it was gonna take forever for me to get it. And I'm like, I just honestly can't wait. So I was like, you know what? Let me go see if they have them on Amazon. And lo and behold, of course they did. So um, I will link it down below, but it's just this nice off white shade. And I did light it just to see what it smelled like. And it smells really good. However, for me, it's just for decor purposes. So I honestly do have to cut this off so that it looks a little bit more aesthetic, but it is just so pretty. And I think mine came in a pack of two and it was $15. Next is just my waffle knit robe. So I didn't expect to get questions on this, but of course I did and I love it. I actually have my eye on the white one and the nude one and probably even the dark with the darker gray one um because i wear this all the time and then like having to wear it and then wash it each time like i'd rather just be able to just swap it out because i honestly just be living in my robes y'all like i just i this one and my satin one i just love it so much um so yeah i will obviously link it down below and it does have two huge pockets for your phone um or whatever else you just decide to store in your pockets so definitely check it out because not only is it really good material but I get so much use out of this. Like I honestly didn't think I would wear it as much as I do, but I do. And then real quick, since I did just show these, um, these are my laundry detergent bottles. So I just have the um, scent boosters in this one and then my laundry detergent in this one. Again, this is just honestly for aesthetics purposes. And then also it is so much easier for me to just use these because um, you just literally open it up and pour it inside. I don't even measure anymore. Like at this point, I just eyeball it because it is what it is. <laughs> um, and then you just refill it. So it's obviously, it's nice, it's pretty and it's aesthetics, but if you're not into aesthetics, it is very functional because I don't know about you, but like sometimes my um, bottles just be getting so messy. Not only that, they're super heavy. So the fact that I'm just able to just, you know, hold this and be able to have more control, it's so much better when I'm trying to just go ahead and just get my laundry done it makes it more fun for me and i honestly look forward to it just because of how nice it looks so i know that probably doesn't make sense but if you get me you get me okay jewelry my ring you guys blow me up over this ring all the time i found a dupe i don't even know if it's a dupe it's probably honestly the same thing um i told you guys that i bought mine on instagram i bought this in texas so 2018 um it was a girl she had like an instagram boutique type of thing where like you would go on the instagram page and then from there you click the link and then you'd be able to buy whatever you wanted um it doesn't exist anymore i tried searching for it so long for you guys because i get so many questions on it um but I, I always knew that it probably came from amazon like she probably bought a bulk of them from amazon and then just upcharged um so i did i found it's, I'm gonna actually order it because I swear to you it's the same thing and I need to just prove myself right because I low key got scammed. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I finally found it for you guys. I will link it down below. I hope you guys enjoy it because you guys, y'all be going crazy over this ring. Um, so, let's be linked out together. I will, I find, I'm just so happy I finally found it for you guys because. For the longest i just got so many questions on it and i felt so bad because i don't want to show stuff that you can't get you know what i mean so click the link y'all get the ring send it to me when you get it send me the pictures i want to see it let's be icy together at this point because period okay so next my 444 necklace um i have it in silver and i have it in gold i also have 1111 i think i want to get 333 um 
It's from Amazon. I don't shower in it um, just so I can preserve it. But you know, it was only like $8. So if it does start to turn or whatever, I'll just buy it again. And it's so nice. It's nice and dainty. It's the perfect length because I don't really like long necklaces. I like necklaces to probably stop like around here. So, you know, I had to pick it up. I always see 444 and I honestly just believe the meaning behind it. So I had to pick it up when I saw that Amazon had it. Next are my slippers. Again, this is something that I didn't expect to get questions about, but I did. And the brand that I ordered from, they had so many colors. Um, I'm probably gonna get the nude ones, um, but these are so soft. When I first bought them, Isaiah was like, how come you didn't get me none? Cause he uh, tried to put his foot in, he didn't fit him, but he was like, yo, these are really soft, which they are. They're the cloud, I believe it's called the cloud slippers. And they're just so comfortable. They're my house slippers. Like I just love them so much. I wear them every single day and they're on it's honestly like you're walking on a cloud, like no lie. So check it out. Again, they have so many colors and um highly recommend. And lastly is my console table. So um again, y'all blew me up over it. It's from Amazon. 99% of my stuff is from Amazon. So if you see it on my TikTok and you're curious about it, if I can't get to you to answer it check Amazon because it's probably where I got it from. Um, I believe it was like $85. I'll insert a video since you can't really see it, obviously. Um, I believe it was $85, like I said, and they had black and I believe they had maybe silver. I don't know, it had another color, but I just know I wanted black. So I love that it's like two levels so I can decorate both levels more for me to decorate, of course. <laughs> And yeah, um, we put our keys on it and then obviously we just have like decor on it and it's basically just our entry table. So yeah. Okay, so that wraps up today's video, you guys. I hope you really, really liked it. Um, I'm sure you guys probably loved it because like I said, you've been wanting to know about a lot of these different items and I'm just so happy that you can just always refer back to this video and pick out whatever you need or you want. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And thank you again, Dossier, for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you go ahead and check them out, like I said. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye, babes.